Sometimes the difference between the two is a sharp line. Sometimes it's a blur. Sometimes we have to do things outside of the law. Bringing Daredevil to Netflix is obviously going to be a huge thing for Daredevil fans. What does it mean to you to have to put in 13 hours of Daredevil into what some people are just going to sit through yeah. in one day? What, what excited me about the prospect is to get to spend so much more time in Origin. You know, really, really tick all the boxes that the fans love, you know, not have to brush over anything quickly. Because when I go and watch the movies, the Marvel movies, which I love so much, my favorite like 20 minutes is always that 20 minutes when they've just discovered what they can do and they're figuring out what their powers are and they started experimenting with it. And I was just so excited about the opportunity to spend three, four, maybe five hours in that journey. You know? What I didn't know at the time was that the whole first season is almost an evolution of Matt Murdock into Daredevil and Wilson Fisk into Kingpin. And so we got even more time than I imagined, so that was great. I'm not seeking forgiveness for what I've done, Father. I'm asking forgiveness for what I'm about to do. Jeff Loeb came to us from Marvel, and he had this, what seemed to be crazy idea, because it's something that was so huge and so ambitious. This required not just going to one season of programming without a pilot, this is five seasons of programming, the creation of a universe without confirmation that it's got legs, which the television never does, and usually movies don't even do that. So this is the beginning of something very, very big. Your outfit kind of sucks, by the way. It's a work in progress. Ah. Our format gives the opportunity to be really true to the comic, not subject to some of this censorship of network television, or the need to get really young to attract bigger audiences through ticket sales. So it's an adult show, for sure, but it also plays really well to young adults. Action-packed and gritty, but really grounded on Earth, you know, which is different than the rest of the Marvel Universe. I find a guy in a dumpster who turns out to be some kind of blind vigilante who can do all this really weird shit. This was Jeff Loeb's brainchild, the head of Marvel Television. And he had this dream of basically doing on television what they did in the features, culminating in the Avengers. He thought, wouldn't it be great if we took these street-level heroes, and that's characters like Matt Murdock, uh, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage, Danny Rand of Iron Fist, and gave them each their own show, and then culminated in the Defenders. You know, with the Netflix model, being able to sit down and watch all 13 at once is great. Instead of approaching this like a TV series episodically, we really looked at it, okay, how is this one 13-hour movie? Here's the beginning, the middle, the end. That's really how we approached it, and hopefully that's what will come across when people watch it. How long have you been practicing law? Time's it's 12.22 a.m. About seven hours. This takes off running. There's very little exposition. They just throw you right in, and it's dark, and it's a little scary, and it's uh, complex. I had a long conversation with Jeff Loeb, who sort of revealed some plot lines that really made me say, I have to be a part of this. I realized that the city was a part of me, that it was in my blood, and I would do anything to make it a better place. So what is it like having to be the right-hand man to somebody like Wilson Fisk within the world of Hell's Kitchen and Daredevil? It's kind of a huge responsibility, but it's also a great thrill because he acts as a diplomat between all of the people that he's utilizing to, to grow his business, which might be the Yakuza, the Russians, the Chinese gangs. So there's a lot of back and forth. Wesley does speak a few languages and knows about fine wine and fine suits and things like that. In, in a way, he's everything that Fisk isn't. What the hell? I'll get this into the right hand. So tell me a little bit about Hachiro and what we can expect from him in Daredevil. Really the bulk, the, the meat of my participation in this uh, season one is going to happen maybe episode five, six, and then it just gets hairy. I mean, whatever people are reporting uh, on uh, right now favorably about the show, they haven't seen anything yet. I mean, wait for the middle section and, and then the last act of the season, then you can make your decisions. But it's going to be exciting. That's all I can say.